episode four of The Traitors. I'm reviewing, reacting to it. I've just seen it, it was amazing. Watched the whole way through, that was nuts. I think he's gonna go for Ash. No! No! If Brian would have been kept in now, he would have been able to learn so much about from this round table that in the next round table, if he'd have been attacked again, he would have he would have just known how to like convey himself, how to defend himself, how to <coughs> make sure that he's not going to be basically up there again. That's he's sound, such a sound person. I wish we could have seen more of him. Oh God. Mm. It's such a difficult situation um, to be in right now for Ash. Hundred percent, Miles. Get as far as possible with each other. That's your best chances. And also, it's not a bad idea that Ash does have heat on her for. Paul, Harry and Miles. Like from their point of view, it'd be better if it was a faithful, but it's a good thing that someone else is getting all the heat because it keeps everything off of them. Oh, awkward, 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 awkward. Oh my god. Paul, you're never gonna get away with the fact that you just backstabbed one of your traitors. Don't put yourselves in. Do not put yourselves in. Because they will What happened last year was as soon as Alex, John and Ivan went up for the chop, oh everyone goodness. then thought a traitor must have put themselves there. So they, they all got eliminated within a day or two. Because they're just going to think of the whole Amanda situation. Everyone loved Amanda, no one would have got rid of Amanda, and eventually they're going to turn on Paul. I don't think it's a good idea at all to put two traitors in the dungeon. I think whoever you're going to put in there is going to put the most attention on that person and you're going to be looked at. So I think if you were to put Ash and Paul in, I think Paul's going to be able to defend himself well enough to get out of it. But I don't think Ash is going to be able to defend herself well enough to get out of it. Paul's going to gun in to get rid of Ash. He's so smart, he's good at it. He's a bit of an ass, but he's good at it. And he's just completely got himself out of that situation as well with Ash. Zach is a boy. He's so he's smart. I said this in the last one, video. Yeah. He is switched on. He's gonna get murdered, I reckon, because he's way too switched on. He's had it. But one thing Paul can do really well now is get Andrew and Meg as super strong allies on their team, on his team. Sorry, Zach, man. He's he's just analysing things, but without putting his emotions into it. <laughs> what did it bring up to be sneaky? I am Team Zach right now, just because he's smart, but I do think he will get murdered the way he's going. But then I think he's also been very smart about it and saying, I don't think, I don't know if it is or isn't Paul, but I think it's a character that is like Paul. Oh, I want to do challenges again. I miss doing challenges. You have to win. But the way he's talking, they haven't won. Run! Sprint! Why are you going so slow? Multiple people at the same time. Multiple people at the same time. Just sprint, man. I think it's going to be between Andrew and Paul. But then technically, that means if you're only getting murdered, Paul's not going to get murdered. Ash won't get murdered. So it has to be Meg that gets murdered now. So now Paul has to get Ash out because if he doesn't get Ash out, it just confirms that they're both traitors. Oh my god, this plan has backfired so much. However, if you go for Meg, then the two traitors are going to be left. They can't murder each other, so they'll know that they're both traitors, so then they'll be both gone as well. He is good though, I genuinely do think it'll get to the round table and he will somehow, he'll just somehow swayed it his way. There's 20 minutes left of this round table, so this means that this is going to be a big round table. What did I say earlier? Get two or three faithfuls around you that will back you through and through. Because they will sway people. Ash. He's going to go. He's gone straight back into Ash. He's thought about though, he has to go for Ash. No, this is so horrible. This is brutal. Paul and Ash cannot let Meg go because they're just going to do themselves over. And I can't wait if that is the situation. I cannot wait. This is why I said at the beginning, do not put any traitors down there because you will get targeted. See that? Do you know on the first episode? Actually, I didn't release it. Or maybe it would have been the second. Claudia sits in the in the court, stands in the corner and lets everything like unfold. But as soon as it starts getting a bit too much, she just came over then and put her hand on Charlotte. I knew this was going to be a big round table. Oh my God, not Ash again. If they do get rid of Ash now though, it will protect Paul. 
So Paul has just got a beg that everyone's going to go for Ash. Episode 4 and they're already going to get a traitor out. Savage. Paul has completely nailed this. Don't give a reason, just say Ash. Paul's going to start devising a way to get rid of Zack. But I don't think he'll do it through murder. I think he'll do it through banishment. All the traitors have just turned on Ash. Oh, that is horrible. Leave the lady. Say, now this is my parting gift. Go on, I dare ya. Use that one liner. Oh, this is sad. See? This is when you know she's a traitor because this is what Amanda done. Like, she feels guilty, so she's like expressing her house the way she feels. Go! What? Oh, come on, man! Guys, that is episode four of The Traces. Review, reaction, that was an amazing episode. Like and subscribe and become my 400, no, 500th maybe? 500 subscriber now? Oh, 599, oh my God, be my 600 subscriber. Let's go.